God, my truck smells like crap. Oh, hey, Mr. Carp. I mean, bait. I mean, the reason my truck smells like crap. River rats, one of the unfortunate side effects of being a cat fisherman is the smells, and my wife will tell you it's not always the greatest, and I'll even tell you it's not always the greatest, but you know what? That's what you do if you want to be serious about catching big fish. You gotta have good bait. All right, let's go try to catch some catfish. I could dice this guy up down there, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop him up here, throw some in that baggie, and then throw that baggie in my bag, in my backpack. Now, there's lots of ways to do this if I was fishing for blue cats, if we had blue cats. Why would I use my flay knife? I, I have a bait knife in my truck. Just kidding, I guess I left my bait knife in my kayak. Good place for it. So I'm gonna scale him. You don't have to do that, but I kinda like getting the scales out of the way. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flay one side. Chunk that up. If we had blue cats, I'd save that head and I'd have flay both sides and take both sides, but I don't think it's gonna be necessary. If I don't catch any, I guess I could always eat him. I might do both both sides. I think I will do both sides. Let me get the scales all over my truck. Whatever. Alright, we got a couple flays. I'm just gonna cut them in smaller chunks like that. Strip. Probably cut that into a couple chunks. That way it'll be easy peasy to bait my hooks. And I bolted a cutting board onto the top of my cooler and that works pretty slick and then I can actually take the cooler lid off and wash it when it gets to the point where it's going to gag a maggot and bring some level of sanitation into my life. I try my best to always be thinking. It's hard sometimes. And of course I forgot my towel too, to wipe my hands off, but luckily that's what grass is for. The grass is even getting a little green, which is pretty sweet. I'm going to do my best to get all these scales out of my truck. What I'm really hoping for is to turn that carp into a nice catfish luncheon. So I'm not going to lie, I'm starving. I like to think I fish a little bit better when I'm hungry. Made it. My own little slice of heaven. If this don't work, I'll probably head over there. And if that don't work, I'm going to make a big move. Small moves first, though. See if I can find a place that uh, the route holders will stick into, though. Basically, standing on broken rock. Not the greatest. Not the worst. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how that shakes out. You don't get conditions a whole lot more ideal than this. It's it's early spring. You got a breeze blowing right into your face, right onto a shallow mud flat. It's sunny now. Should warm up that flat and pull some fish up here. You don't need a big sinker, but I like to be able to put some distance on it, so I'm going to use a three. I'm going to bomb this guy. Got a small hook. I'm go with a small chunk of that cool bag. Got him all jittery. So what happens when I drink coffee on an empty stomach? Drag's set about right. I always loosen up my drag when I'm done fishing because it makes them last longer. And I'm replacing some drags on my flathead reels because uh, they're shot. Had one little tap, so that's encouraging. I think we're all set. I like to have my rods close together. I know it looks stupid as I'm stumbling over this rock, but if you have your rods close together, you get a bite. You don't have to like run to chase it. You're just right there on top of the rods. It's not a big deal. I just did my first Instagram live feed. That actually, oh! And I was just gonna talk about how I got a bite and missed him. I had a lot of short hitters like that. I don't have any circle hooks. I wonder if that would help. Yeah, they just hit it and forget it. That's the only rod that's gotten any action. But I hooked one and lost him on live feed. <laughs> Set the hook like a goon. What's new, right? But that's the only one that's been getting hit and he's bombed out there a ways, so I'm gonna try and bomb another one out there a ways. Yeah. Should probably clean that. Just freaking take it down. I don't know if these fish suck or if I suck. But judging how I just fell off a rock, I kind of suck. 
I'm gonna try something different. I got some shad scent that I got for walleye fishing and flathead fishing. We're gonna try that. See if it makes a difference. I don't know. Can't hurt a thing, can it? Can't catch any less fish than zero. So there's that. And if it works, I'm gonna put it on all of them. Not majestic, but I finally stuck one for the moment. I'm just gonna stay right here till I get them close. And I'm actually kind of comfortable. This rock has good lumbar support, so I can't complain about that. He's not a bad one. If I can just get him in, he's going to be my dinner. And I'm starving, so now the question is, do I keep fishing or do I eat him? So far the shad scent has not produced anything. Uh, I'm trying to decide if he's hooked very good or not. Almost too big to eat. But I am hungry. That's what I've been hoping for. That's about the size of the one I lost earlier when I was live. Those rod holders aren't super secure, so I keep looking back. I can't help myself, but that is going to be a delicious channel cat. But I'll put them on a stringer for now, and I'm going to keep fishing for a little bit. I think I'll be okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to blow away or anything. Oh, got him. Possibly the most awkward hook set ever. He's not small. He's not a jumbo. I wonder if that was gonna happen if they just start rolling in. Yeah, about a cookie cutter to the other one. They're so dark. That felt wonderful to set the hook in him though. So I kind of buried it in him. Got him. Okay, just like that. I'll get this one back in the water as quick as I can. More fast paced uh, catfish action though. Kinda like that, huh? <laughs> I'm not complaining, this is sweet. And now, once again, I'm waiting for the one rod that's left in the water to get smoked. Cause it seems like when they come through, they come in in droves. All right, you go back. Your fate. It's not so wonderful. They don't make it easy on you. Guess I don't blame them. If somebody's trying to eat me, I try not to make it easy on them either. If we ever have a zombie apocalypse, I'm going out swinging. Or if a great white tries to eat me, I'm going to punch him in the face. Swear to God I will. Okay, time to handle this mess and get back fishing. You can bet I'm going to put some more of that shad sauce on there. So that one seemed to like it. That's the fastest action I've had in the last hour, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And it was broke, so I kind of fixed it, I think. We'll find out. If that happens again, then it's not a fluke. I almost hope this stuff doesn't work, because that's just one more thing I feel obligated to purchase. But what I've definitely noticed is the further you cast, the more bites you get. Sometimes they're close. So far, not today. Anytime I say not today, it reminds me of that Dikembe Mutombo commercial where he's like, not today. Sorry, random ADD thought. Well, I'm only gonna put the shad set on one to see if it actually makes a difference. Gotta maintain my control groups. So far, one on no shad scent. Yeah, definitely need to clean that and one on the shad set. Sounds like a banshee yelling at me. They're all set, I'm set. Should probably call my mom back. <laughs> it's on the phone with my mom. And I hooked up. <laughs> I was waiting for that to happen. I think this is on the shad, shad scent again. He's running at me like channel cats and blue cats like to. Flatheads never do that. They just bulldog you the whole way and throw you mondo head shakes. Oh, he's got a big, ugly brown head on him. About looks like a flathead. 
Not the most majestic hook set, but this one was effective. He's all bumpy and stuff. He's bigger, he's not way, way bigger. He's blind in one eye though. Oh, I didn't have my camera on. Oh hey, the camera's on now. Got this dude. Oh, he's just got my finger caught in his gill. Yeah, look at the big old noggin on him. He's all bumpy from parasites and stuff. Check out that eye. That would suck. All right, I'm gonna let him go. Not only is he bigger than I like to keep, he, uh, I don't like keeping when they got all them parasites. Yeah, I came here to get a little bit better average size channel cats and they've been nice enough to do it for me. All right, right now we got two to one shad scent versus just the regular quill back. Kit's coming and he's supposed to be bringing some fresh shad. So I bet if he brings some fresh shad, we'll really be killing him. We'll see, I don't know, three cats. I ain't complaining. All this excitement is curbing my hunger. We're going to continue to monitor how much that scent makes a difference. Two rods without scent, one with. The one with has only had it for a short while. And it's getting, it's caught two fish. Coincidence? I don't know yet. And I guess I'll probably never know unless it replicates over and over and over again. We're gonna be super duper scientific about it. Got him that time. He popped it pretty good the first go around and he didn't want to stick. Apparently he changed his mind. And he let go. That dog, I thought I had him good. What happened? Well, there was a scale stuck on one hook. That would probably be it. But we'll call it a, I mean, a fish hit a chunk that didn't have shad on it, so. Back to a 2-2 two -two tie. I'll bomb it back out there. Made sure to really smoke this one. Thrashing around out there in that shallow water. They get rolling and that's when they come off because they get funny tension on that hook. There we go. Now he's running at me. Get that bottom hook. Stay pinned, bud. Big fat girl. I think I'll leave this one in. We'll put a new leader on. God, they're all nice. They're all like the same size, but they're all nice size. That's another fish on the shad. I think that's a female. Check out the whiskers on her. She's just pointing them out. She's probably not happy. That's probably what that means. I don't blame her. But don't worry, I'm gonna let you go. Whenever you're ready. See ya. Big gut, they've been mowing food down, no doubt. Yeah, I'm gonna retie this leader now to avoid heartbreak, hopefully. Got a nice fresh leader on there. Nice fresh baits going on there. And some nice fresh sad, sh sad scent? Shad scent going on there. Continuing to see if it makes a difference. And if it does, I'll definitely be ordering some more. Or maybe I could just catch shad. I mean, I guess that's an option too. And if you're wondering, I'm no way affiliated with this company, Liquid Mayhem. I just, it's like, oh, there's a lot of shad where I fish, so maybe if I put shad scent on it, it'll help me out, but I don't know, so far it seems to be doing okay. It's not a perfect experiment. I have a bunch of rattles and stuff on this one and nothing on that one. So that could also make a difference. Oh, he's still going with it. Got him. I was trying to put my leader line away and then look over. Do -do -do -do. Oh, this is on the shad scent again. All right, it's getting to the point where it's not even fair. Nice one. He wouldn't let it go either. The other ones have been short hitting it. 
and I feel like I'm selling this stuff. Another dandy channel cat. Bumpy one. He's got the worms. I'm losing count. I should have brought a clicker. What's that, like six? It's hard to count over four for me. Josh, just another dang nice channel cat. Yeah, I gotta like that. Pretty, except for the, the parasites. That's kind of, I don't like that, but I don't know, there aren't hardly any marks on her. I'll let her go nice so we can keep it that way. See ya. Debating, do I keep one more or not? Got a dude rolling up here in a boat. Hopefully he gives me some space. Be really annoying if he pulled up real close and then bumped all these fish out of here. But I don't know in the water. So there's that. What are he's fishing for? He's standing up and casting. Maybe he's a musky guy. Here they get muskies this time of year. How gnarly would it be if a musky ate a chunk of cut bait? I suppose it could happen. Guess you never know. Dude, I know caught a musky walleye fishing yesterday. At least I think he was walleye fishing. Just sent me a picture of it. It's a nice fish. Okay. Downtown. I haven't had a bite for five minutes. So I don't know what the deal is. Hunger's starting to creep in. Sorry, little catfish. Your time. Your time's numbered. I don't even know what time is numbered means. But... What it means is I'm gonna flay him and eat him. And he's gonna be wonderful. The no scent is making a comeback. Cause he buried it. Not a bad fish again. Not too shabby. Another chubster. Probably my biggest one of the day, honestly. Another purdy one. Yeah, probably my biggest one so far. Mwah. Not actually gonna kiss you because that's slimy and gross. All right, see ya. Make sure this guy stays here. Crap, now my leader's tangled in my stringer. I'm just a mess. About the most glorious part of this springtime catfish and stuff is the best days to do it are like the nicest days to be out. You get that nice, strong, southeast, south breeze, sunny, pretty, pleasant to be out. And that's when the fish are biting up on this mud. Channel cats love mud, so that means I love mud. The man, the myth, the legend's here. Did you get any scads? No. I wondered if that was going to happen. They're tough to get in ponds, man. Yeah, I was, uh, I was just looking around to see if I could even see any, and I, I didn't see any. Yeah, they'll be out deep. You have to have a heavy net. Heavy net with big mesh. This one might be better. I've also been saying that and then he pops up and he's the same size. They come through in like little packs, I think. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's a solid fish. yeah. He's a little too big to keep, I think. I like it when you set the hook and they don't move. Oh yeah. Get him! Make sure he isn't too big, we want to eat one. I think he might be a little big to eat. That one I kept is borderline. So here's one catfish, and there's Kit hooked up to another one. All right, later. Big missile. Oh, you want me to land this while I'm over here? Oh, this one's eater size for sure. About like the one I kept. It's a little pimply. Oh yeah, never mind. You can go back. <laughs> Time to unleash the banshee. Probably get another 10 feet on my cast if I cleaned it. <laughs> All right, it's officially dinner time. I don't even know what the final count is. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the video to figure it out. This wind's gonna make the cooking interesting. I'd show you all how I clean a catfish, but there's a bunch of videos already on YouTube of guys who are better at it than I am. And I forgot my knife sharpener, so it's gonna be ugly anyway. All right, we got two wonderful catfish fillets here gonna chunk them up because they fry up so much nicer when they're in smaller chunks you don't have to do that and you could cut the red meat out but as you can see the cold water is not nearly as much red meat it's not nearly as red they don't have as much of a gamey taste gosh this is not very level 
Hope I can find a spot that's level to put my burner. Just keep waiting for this to fall over and all of my catfish to freaking hit the ground. All right, got those. I'm gonna have to try and figure out a way to level this out. Where's my paper towels? Oh no, we're gonna have to make do. Fish might be a little greasy, sorry. Oh, I have a few tortillas. Forgot about those. Put you soggy fillets in the bag. Even though you should be padded dry. Get the burner set up. Can't catch a fish already. Quit playing with them. Quit letting them think they have a chance. All right, nice rocky. Um, definitely not level. I think that'll work. Unless it doesn't. All right, we're going with that. I'm just ready to move if it falls over. Of course, my resealable bag is not wanting to reseal. I'm just a mess right now, man. But at least we have plenty of catfish. The first round isn't going to be as crispy as the second round. Oh no! Oh. He's still going in. Yeah, usually it gets so hot it burns everything. I got it cranked all the way up and it ain't hot enough. All right. Is it any good? Yeah, I like this breading better. Better than your last one? Mm-hmm. Getting bit over there? Nope. That sucks. Should try and catch a fish. It's fun. Forgot I had tortillas and Kit got a bite. Two good things happening at the same time. Hmm. Ugh. Is there food on my face? It's gonna do it for me. Have my catfish tortilla. Had a wonderful day of fishing. Got to make fun of Kit. Caught more fish than Kit. And I don't know anything else I'm forgetting. I wasn't here as long. Oh, sure. And listen to Kit's excuses. I forgot <laughs> that one. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you, you did, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more, Hit the subscribe button. I'm going to fish as long as I can. Hopefully we don't get quarantined. Because that would make me cry. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to catch a giant.